people, I'm Aisha and you're joining me for some more heavy petting. Today I'm in a city which has the distinction of being the capital of both Punjab and Haryana. Chandigarh is India's first planned city and home to some animal lovers who go about their business in style. We'll meet them in just a bit, but first a look at what's lined up on the show today. Pet Hotel Catch Them Young Hall of Fame Mouth Matters and Sparrow Retreat. Hey you guys! Look at you! Look at you! How comfy stunning yourself! The business of hospitality is gaining new ground. Only now, it's in the world of the four-legged clientele. The new and fast-growing segment of holidaying dogs and cats makes this pet hotel the perfect stop for your doggies' day out. Dr. Thur, welcome to the show. Thank you. Dr. Thur is the co-founder of Doggy's Day Kennel. So tell me, what can a dog expect when he checks into this hotel? So basically when the dog he checks into our kennel, so he can expect a lot of fun, a lot of social dogs, <laughs> and a very good boarding place, and a very congenial environment with the family living inside, plus very friendly dogs at our kennel. Yes. Like Toddy right here, who loves to sleep mostly. <laughs> so tell me, Dr. Thur, you're a vet by profession. How did you go from running a clinic to starting a doggy hotel? We had a clinic and a pet shop and a grooming parlor. It started, then we felt that there is a need. People are feeling that they need a place when they are going on holidays where to board their dog. So, and second thing was where to hospitalize the dog. That was a very good issue with the people. Then breeding also came into our mind that people need good breed dogs. So then we started this place as an extension of our business. So this is essentially a one-stop shop for all doggy needs. From pampering to hospitalization, you're covering oh. the gamut. Hope so. help but notice that you have some very innovative kennels here. What all are the changes that you've made and things that you've adapted for this hotel? My partner Dr. Ravinder Singh went to US to look for the kennels. He saw many kennels in US. So we designed the kennel in such a way that it's in the windward direction yeah. and it's basically air cooled. Okay. So we have, a, there should be no flies in the kennel. First thing, it should be clean, easy to clean, easy to maintain and Second thing, it should be very cool in summers. Mm. So the design was make it fly free, mm -hmm. cover it with thatch roof and then do the drains mm. and cover the drains. In our kennel, you won't find smell of uh, doggy yeah. susu and everything and it will be fly free, mm. very clean, mm. very hygienic. That's uh, how the design came up. <laughs> interesting that all of your kennels have an indoor and outdoor space for the dogs with a little doorway leading yeah. into each. So you can't sit in a 5 by 5 foot uh, area, like it's it will be a jail for the dog basically. So we had designed the kennel in such a way that dog, if he wants to stay inside, he can stay inside. We have made a 10 feet run outside. So if he wants to go out, he can move out, go on his own, keep on doing his exercise in the kennel even. Then we trained our dogs in such a way that we have in this area, we have a lot of open space. Mm -hmm. So we don't tie the dogs. Mm -hmm. All our 30 dogs, morning, they eat their meal. We let them out. They go on their own. You don't have to look for them. 
within one hour, all of them will come back to the place and settle down in their own place.